middle school and we are actually in the harbor freight store and what i want to do i want to go over some stuff that i think is a good purchase at harbor freight um, i do a lot of reviews of harbor freight items and some are good some are bad and I wouldn't say that everything at Harbor Freight's junk, but they do have their limit to what is actually good. So if we look right here, this is a real popular item. This is the Icon tools that they sell, which they are basically um, comparing these to Snap-on. And I know for a fact that all the Icon tools are 100% um, guaranteed. No receipt necessary. If you got an Icon tool, you bring the kit in with you, the set, and you basically get a free one, no questions asked. Um, if we look at these sockets right here, for instance, these uh, wobble end extensions, $40 for a complete set of 3 8 and half inch extensions. If you bought those on Snap-on truck, those are going to cost you about $250. Believe me, I know. Um, you got an SAE set of hex socket set. That's a Allen wrenches for $25. Snap-on, you're going to end up paying at least $180. At least $180. Uh, I had a good friend of mine, Shane, out in Ohio that wanted a set of the deep sockets. I went ahead and bought them. They said they were out of stock on them where he was at, and he insisted that he had a set, so I went ahead and bought them for him and sent them to him. But uh, I wanna walk over here, and I wanna show you something that's really a good deal over here at Harbor Freight. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at this. You will never find this at this price. Look at this. A hundred piece aluminum rivet, and this is quarter inch and half inch aluminum rivet for seven dollars and thirty cents. Okay, a hundred piece pop rivet set. Look at that for seven dollars and thirty cents. There's no way you're going to ever find that anywhere else, but right here. Matter of fact, my friend Pete is going to throw that in the basket. Um, plastic rivets for all you guys that do. Uh, automotive repair and need plastic rivets. Look at that. A 90 piece set of plastic rivets. Okay. Look at all the sizes that you get. $12. Don't tell me that's not worth the money. Okay. Um, here's an interesting situation that I saw. And now to get the discounts, you got to be a, a member. They don't give you discounts anymore. But I want to show you this tool right here. And this is an interesting set. I actually bought one of these off the Snap-on truck. And I paid like $200 for this setup. And what this is, this is a threaded insert riveter set. And if you look on the top of vans or trucks and they have those uh, roof racks on them, this is how they're mounted on there. And this set right here, okay, this set right here is $24. I mean, you can't beat it. 24 bucks and you get all of the inserts. Uh, you get 10 inserts, you get uh, quarter inch inserts, number 10 inserts, a number eight insert, number 36. I mean, that's a pretty good deal right there. So my situation is, is I've never seen anywhere where you can buy an assortment of stuff and we're not even done there. Come on over here, I wanna show you this. I wanna show you this deal. If you're a hobby guy and you need stuff, uh, oddball hardware, look what we got here. Now this is a 300 piece, I wanna tell you this, this is a 300 piece, okay, snap ring assortment, 300 pieces. All right, usually when you go into a Napa Auto Parts store, you get a pick and choose which ones you need and then they charge you like $1.75 for each one. Look at the price on this, look at that. Six dollars, all right. Um, here you go, right here. Uh, metal screw and anchor assortment kit. Look at that, three bucks. <laughs> you know, 
How can you go wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just insane. Rubber grommets, if you're gonna rewire your car, if you're gonna, uh, if you need something, if you're drilling a hole and you don't want that uh, hose or that, that barbed uh, wire to, to rub on it and, and leak, look at this, look at this. Okay, five bucks for 180 piece set grommets. Okay, extra long carter pins. Look at that, 150, 144 of them. Look at that, for $6, okay, six bucks. So basically what I'm trying to say here is Harbor Freight has a lot, a lot of exciting opportunities to buy. We got a 1,000 piece nut and bolt assortment kit. Look at this, 1,000 piece for $17.49. <laughs> you are shitting me. Wow. <laughs> it even comes with a plastic case and it's got all the little drawers that you can pull out. If you own a trailer shop, um, you fix trailer, a lot of trailers, look at this. Look at that. $8. Okay, so we're going to kind of just randomly walk around. The only reason I'm doing this is because there's really nobody in the store. Uh, it's early in the morning and nobody showed up. Here's a good purchase right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say if uh, you use safety glasses at your shop, stock up at Harbor Freight because this is the place. Look at here. $2, $1.79. Okay, that's dirt cheap. You're not going to find them that cheap anywhere else. Safety glasses. Very good buy over at uh, Harbor Freight. I'm gonna show you something that's not a good buy. And I think this is bullshit and I think it's a big scam. Um, here's the sign that they have. Nitro glove prices have gone up. Supplies are low because of worldwide. Yeah, sure there is. Our profit margin um, has not changed and you can be sure that when the cost decreases, so will our prices. Five mil thickness. They want almost $20 for a box of gloves. I think that's absurd. I think it's ridiculous. And I wouldn't buy my gloves here. I don't think that's a good deal. $20 for a box of seven male gloves. And you only get 50 gloves for $20. Okay. How long is this thing going to go on? All right. That's a scam. Don't buy those here. I'm going to say that right now. That's not a good buy. So here we are in the welder section, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, Harbor Freight actually sells pretty good welder supplies. Um, my son, all right, about five or six years ago, I bought him the Chicago Electric Welding welder. Um, I bought him a MIG welder. I think it was a MIG welder, an arc welder, and a plasma cutter. And it was the Chicago Electric brand. And to this day, he still has those and they work perfect. So, yeah, I, I, I think that what Harbor Freight sells as far as welders go, it's a very good, very good purchase. Look at this right here. Um, this is a 125 amp welder, easy flux, okay? And it's, uh, it's a process, I'm sure it's a processor welder for $169. Now, how can you not beat that price? Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, here's a processor welder. This is a microprocessor welder. And this one here is a, it's an inverter technology, all metal drive system, uh, spool gun ready um, for 459 bucks. I hate to tell everybody out there, but Harbor Freight has put, basically put the uh, flea market pawn shop tools out of business. That's what Harbor Freight's done. Um, I actually did a review on this welder right here. Um, is this the one? I don't think this is the one. But I did a review on one of these little welders and it turned out to be a very, very good item. So if you're looking for a welder, you ought to check out Harbor Freight before you buy anything else. 
Let's talk about the gloves for a second. Um, the gloves that Harbor Freight sells are junk. I'm not going to lie to you. I think they're trash. And the reason is, is you can see how big my hand is, okay? I wear an XL, all right? Um, these are made in China. We all know that. And China specs are not the same as USA specs. So when you get an extra large glove, you're actually getting a large glove in between a large and a medium. The prices are pretty good. If you need a glove to just do cheap, easy work with and throw it away, yeah, this is a good price, okay? You can't beat the price. But if you're looking for a good quality work glove, I suggest not to buy it over here at Harbor Freight. I think you're gonna be wasting your money and there's better gloves out there than the Harbor Freight Band as far as heavy duty mechanic gloves. They have an extra large here and I guarantee you um, that glove will not fit my hand. That glove will not fit my hand. So are the gloves worth it? Like I said, you want the throwaway gloves, you want the cheap inexpensive ones like these, yeah, they're a great deal. As far as the high tech mechanic gloves go, stay away from them. They're not worth it. Anybody out there that's uh, bought any of their heavy equipment, leave a comment on this video and let me know what you think about uh, Harbor Freight stuff. Um, now, this is an English wheel, of course. Harbor Freight sells these. And I don't know if it's any good or not, but let's see what the price is on that thing. I'm sure for $349.99, it's probably a good starter wheel if you want to get into that type of situation. And, you know, a lot of this Harbor Freight stuff, a lot of people think all Harbor Freight does is sell just your typical, you know, random tools. But look what they got here. Are you joking me? Look at this file kit. Look at all these files. And you even get your handles with them for $12.99. Don't tell me that's not a good deal. That is a good deal, okay? Um, we got wood chisels, all right? Uh, look at here. I mean, is it going to be the best? Probably not. But for $14.99, you can't go wrong. Um, speaking of that, I need to get some clamps myself. Um, I will tell you one thing that I purchased from Harbor Freight, and they really turned out to be a good buy, is I don't know if I got that brand right there, but I bought some um, clamps and they were a little smaller than these ones. That wasn't this, it wasn't this brand here, it was their off brand. Yeah, these ones right here, $2.49, okay? And I use them all the time and they were well worth the money. I was really shocked. I haven't even done a review on those yet. That's the five inch clamp. Um, I did do a review on this item right here. And you can get on my YouTube channel and look at that. And it turned out to be a good item. I noticed they went up in price a little bit. The one I got was $49, but it turned out to be a good vice. Um, what can I say about their vices, okay? You get what you pay for. You see what I'm saying? You get what you pay for. This is one of the things I like about Harbor Freight is when you buy stuff, a lot of the stuff you buy is a package deal, okay? Look at this package deal. It's $11.99, and look at all the... Uh, assortment, air compressor, startup kit, stuff that you get with it. I mean, is that going to last you forever? If you take care of it, it's going to last you forever. Of course, these aren't going to last you forever, but it's a startup kit for $12. And then see, this is, the, this is why I like Harbor Freight. Okay, I already showed you all the nuts and bolts way down there. But this is why I like Harbor Freight. You know, forget all these big fancy tools and, and all this stuff. It's the little stuff that matters. And th look at this right here, okay? $1.59, and look how many you get, okay? Eight inch cable ties, $1.59, okay? <laughs> I mean, the prices are ridiculous, look at that. 11 inch cable ties, a whole bag of 100, okay? for $2.29. Look at this, all right? Look at these big giant ones here, 10 piece, $1.69 for a 10 piecer.
You know, if you want to shop and save money and you want to say, hey, Harbor Freight's the place to go, that's what you go there for. All right, that's what you go there for. You go for the little stuff, the, the stuff that you're going to be stocking, stockpiling your toolbox with to um, make sure that you got enough parts in your toolbox and enough supplies to keep you going. So anyway, I just thought I'd come on here and show you a few items over at Harbor Freight, what I think's worth the money. Um, let me go over here to this aisle I was looking at. There was some stuff over here. Let's see, where's it at? Yeah, here we go right here. Um, now here's a situation. Um, this is kind of unbelievable that Harbor Freight sells this type of stuff here. But we got a six inch ceramic chef's knife and I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those. Uh, I'm gonna try that out because I've always heard the ceramic knives were razor sharp and kept it. But look at that. Look at this right here, $10.97. If you go to Walmart and get that same knife, it's like $35, exact same knife, 35 bucks. Um, here's a, for all you guys at home that wanna uh, sharpen your own knives, uh, diamond hone blocks. I believe that's what that's for, um, sharpening your knife. So leave a comment on that. It's less than 10 bucks. Huh. You can't beat it at all. Um, if you got poor eyesight, look what we got here over here for $7.97. Okay, universal remote control. If you're blind and you need it, hey, look what they got for $5.97, people. A stainless steel shoehorn. Where else are you going to find one of those? But it's your local Harbor Freight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so anyway, um, I got to say Harbor Freight sells some very, very unusual stuff. I'm going to buy one of these for $2.99. Look at that. I'm gonna buy one of those because I got a lot of, I got a lot of uh, knives in my drawer that need sharped. And if it doesn't work for two dollars and ninety nine cents, it says it's gonna, it's gonna sharpen my. Look at that. It says razor sharp edge with little effort. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna find out. But this is what I like about Harbor Freight. It's the little stuff that really 